both sleeves and controlling both hands. I notice he's not heavily pinning my hips to the floor. If my hips can raise, I can attack, okay? But I notice he's not doing that. He's kind of hanging out. He's waiting for me to make something happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this leg and I'm going to swing above his shoulder. And I'm going to take this leg and hook in front of that leg, okay? Now, I don't really have him locked in very well. He can drive his right shoulder in and now he's free from my lock. So the way that I'll lock him in place is once I hook my feet, I will extend my legs. I'll straighten my legs, that will pin that shoulder in place. So again, he's not really aggressively pinning my hips to the ground. Maybe I'll pull a little bit, step over the shoulder, step in front of that one, and then I extend my legs. The extension of legs means he can't drive that right shoulder in. Once I extend my legs, I commit both hands to the arm that's trapped on the shoulder side and I push my hips forward, okay? It's a, uh, often called, we often call it a diamond arm bar because of the shape that I'm making with my legs, but it's just an arm bar variation. So I join both, get him a little close to me. I step over the shoulder. I'm making big motions so you can see what's happening here. Over the shoulder, the other leg comes in front, so that they lock and I extend. Both hands commit to the arm that's trapped. Push my hips forward. Thank you, sir. Okay, so I got two on one. I bring it to me a little bit. I'm going to bring it step over the shoulder, hook the other foot in front, and extend. All right, if I pull him to me, he can drive that shoulder in. All right, so I extend, extending away. And both hands to the trapped arm. Thank you, sir. Just so I, uh, everybody's clear what's happening here. Again, when I hook my feet, if I bring my legs together, it makes this opening between my knees wider. If I extend, it closes that space, therefore locking that shoulder in place. I don't have to be strong, and I don't have to really hold the arm in. The legs hold in place, and I just hyperextend the pressure of the arm. Okay? Yep.